area, having violated the provisions of Section 35 of the Electoral Act 2022. E. The declaration on the time of the first March 2023, as the present elect will refer to Nigeria, is invalid by reason of non compliance with the provisions of the Constitution of Fair Republic of Nigeria 1999 and the Electoral Act 2022. A declaration that, having regard to the joint ticket principle enshrined in Section 142.1 of the Constitution of Fair Republic of Nigeria 1999, the withdrawal of the first respondent as the vice presidential candidate of the second respondent by operation of law amounted to automatic withdrawal and inv invalidation of the candidature of the third respondent as the presidential of the second respondent for the presidential election conducted by the first respondent on the 26th day of February 2023. A declaration that arises of the third respondent nomination, the first respondent ought not to have included the name or the abbreviation of the name or the logo of the second respondent in the ballot papers and other election materials used by the first respondent for the conduct of the presidential election held on the day of February 2023. The first respondent was not qualified to contest as the vice presidential candidate of the second respondent as of 25 February 2023 when the, first, when the presidential election was conducted by the first respondent in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, having violated the provisions of Section 35 of the Electoral Act 2022. An order nullifying and voiding all the votes scored by the third respondent in the presidential election conducted by the first respondent on 26 February 2023 in view of his non qualification as a candidate of the second respondent. Upon the ground of prayer for above, an order nullifying and or setting aside the return same having been met in violation of the provisions of Section 142.1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, and Section 35 of the Electoral Act 2022. And finally, upon the ground of prayers 5 and 6 above, and in the absence of respondents' participation in the presidential election held on 25 February, the passed on to Section 136 sub 2 of the Electoral Act, an order declaring the candidate with the next highest number of votes as the winner of the election. The grounds of the petition as set out in paragraph 15 of the petition is as follows. The petitioner states that the ground upon which the petition is presented is that the third respondent was not qualified to contest the election. The respondents were duly served responded by filing their replies in April 2023. The second respondent reply to the petition was also filed on 9th of April 2023, while that of the third and fourth respondents was filed on 13th of April 2023. The fifth respondent also filed a reply to the petition on the 16th of April 2023. The petitioner then, the then filed replies to the respective replies of the respondents to the petition. The contents of the petition these motions were duly heard during the hearing session and ruling reserved. The, the first motion was filed by the first respondent. As you can hear in, in this motion, was filed on the on the 6th of May, while in the his no reliefs. One, an order striking out paragraphs 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 14, and 15 of the petitioner reply filed on 20th day of April 2023 in response in the first respondent's reply. Two, an order striking out paragraphs 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 of the petition reply filed on 20th of April 2023 in response to the first respondent's reply. And, and for such further order, orders as the Honorable Tribunal shall be deem fit to the circumstances. They were asked to note that the grounds for the petition or for the application uh, as follows. They are being reproduced in the uh, ruling. I need not read them out. So the motion is supported by an affidavit of four paragraphs and a written address. The petitioner respondent then responded by filing counter affidavit of seven paragraphs on 13th of May 2023. Same was accompanied by written address in opposition to the
the application. Yeah, the, the arguments of counsel in respect of that our application have been considered. It is here in the ruling. A similar application was also filed by the second respondent on the 8th of May 2023, wherein the second respondent prayed this court to grant the following reliefs. One, an order of the Honorable Tribunal granting leave to the second respondent applicant to file and argue this application before or outside the pre-hearing session in this petition. It should be noted that this court is sitting as the Court of Appeal, not as a tribunal. So, an order of this Honorable Court striking out paragraphs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, sub 1, 2, 4, and 5. Paragraph 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 of, the, of, of Part D of the petition of reply and of the entire petition reply to the second resp uh, respondent reply to the petition for being an unnecessary repetition and or introduction of new facts unrelated to the second respondent reply to the petition. Three, an order of the oral court striking out in whole or part thereof of the witness statements on oath filed together with the petition reply to the petition for being irregular and in flagrant non-compliance with the relevant provisions of the first schedule to the Electoral Act 2022. The grounds for that application have also been summarized in this uh, judgment. In, in, in the same thing with the submissions of counsel. The third and fourth respondents also filed a motion a reply filed by the petitioner on 20th April 2023 together with the accompanying witness of list of witnesses to be relied on and the list of additional documents. Two, further or in the alternative to prayer one above, an order striking out paragraphs 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to 21, of the petition reply under the heading petition reply to the third respondents reply to the motion filed on 20th April 2023 to the applicant's reply to the petition and for such further order orders as this honorable court may deem fit to make in the circumstances. The grounds have also been referred to in this uh, ruling. We have also considered the submissions of counsel. Now it is apparent that the first respondent's motion filed on the 6th of May 2023 the second respondent motion filed on the 8th of April 2023 and the third and fourth respondent motion filed on 13th May 2023 are all aimed at having certain paragraphs of the petition replies to the respective replies of the respondent's replies to the petition struck out. The common ground in all the applications is that the avoidance and the petitioner's reply have introduced new facts, new issues, facts and or grounds to the petition. Furthermore, that some of the avoidance are rehashed or repetition of the vermins in the petition file, that those are vermins in the petition replies of paragraph 16, sub, sub paragraph 1a and b of the first schedule to the Electoral Act 2022. The said paragraph to the Electoral Act stipulates that 